All right. That was just blind casting a gold spoon. Let's see if we can find another one in here. Just now getting over here to where I'm seeing a little bait action. That's a better one. A lot better one. Oh Lord, get in the boat, get in the boat. Oh Lord. Boy, he is lively. Look at the size of that one. Oh, yes. Let me get a good grip. I don't want to lose him goofing off, taking pictures and all. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that is a nice one. Okay. I think that first one was little. I almost lost him. Almost lost him in the box. All right, so I'm going to do a speckled trout catch and cook. I'm going to deep fry some speckled trout fillets marinated in just Zatarain's liquid crab oil. So I got an eight ounce bottle of crab oil. I got 10 little small speck fillets. I'm going to pour the whole bottle in there and let them marinate. 6 hours or so overnight would be even better. So speckled trout marinated in Zatarain's liquid crab boil. All right, I don't know how this is going to fume up, so I'm going to do it outside till I proof this recipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dredge the fish in just pure flour, then go to an egg wash, egg and milk, and then into fish fry, fry it up in hot grease, and then salt it when it comes out. I don't want to uh, salt and pepper or season the fillets because I want to find out exactly what it's going to taste like using this liquid crab boil. Alright, well I let the fish marinate for six hours. This is my first time trying this recipe and I don't want to overdo it. It does look like it's soaked into the meat some though. So we'll go flour, egg wash, and then fish fry. I got some fries in right now while I batter my fish and get it ready. going to be interesting. Sometimes when you cook peppers and all it reduces the heat. We'll see how the flavoring is of this when we're done. son-in-law told me about this recipe so I've been wanting to try it he said a guy he works with in Baton Rouge prepares his fish like this it looks like the fillets in the bottom really took the seasoning All right, I just took a bunch of fries out. I, I wanted to do the fries first. I didn't know what the crab boil will do to the oil as far as ruin it. I got the temperature back up to 350. And we'll put the fillets in. And we'll fry these till they float. It's going to be interesting to see how these turn out. They're letting off a light crawfish boil aroma as it fries in the oil. Frying beautifully. Tell you what, these little instant read thermometers are one of the best things you can get when you want to cook fried fish, cook meats, whatever. Very handy little tool to have. This first batch looks like it's done. 
They sure, sure fried up beautiful, I'll tell you that. As I'm taking them out, once again, I get a aroma, a slight smell of crab, crab boil. So I'm going to go ahead and dust them with a little bit of salt. We get our next batch in. Wow, that looks good. It's going to be interesting to try. I might have to try this little dreg right now. Well, the initial bite is surprisingly mild. If you like crab ball, you'll like this. It sneaks up on you though. After a while, you start to get all those aromatics from the liquid crab ball. I really like it. I'll definitely do it again. I'm going to fry this batch a little harder, a little crispier. I do like my fish both ways. I like it soft and moist, <coughs> and I also like it fried hard. So this is really, really delicious, but make sure you got plenty of water or beer with you. It's not overpowering pepper-wise, but the aromatics are strong. I'll definitely do this again. I really enjoy this. So as you can see, I did these fillets for about three and a half minutes, and I did these for five to fry them up a little bit crunchier. Let's get this last batch in. I'm doing ten fillets. I figured it'd be something I really liked, or I'd ruin ten fillets, but I tell you what, I'm enjoying it. I just took the last batch out, so these are fried three minutes, and these are fried five minutes. These are a little more crunchy, a little crispy. I'm going to try one of those now and see how I like it. Alrighty, so this is a five minute piece. This doesn't seem as spicy. I guess the longer it was heated up, the, the more the seasoning cooked out. Starting to get that after effect though. Woo. <laughs> it's a spicy. Tell you what, that is good. You can see a little tint on the meat where the crab boil soaked in. This was a six hour marinade. I think overnight would be too long. I'm gonna try it with like one hour, two hours and start to see. <clears throat> That's definitely some spicy fish, but it's definitely a keeper recipe. I got a little bit of cornbread, french fries, fish, and tartar sauce. Yummy. And another bottle of water. The more I'm eating, the more I like it. So a little bonus. I love fresh fried fish on fresh white bread with mayonnaise. So let's see how this crab ball marinated fish turns into a fish sandwich. You can see. Hmm. I already ate a piece of it cold and boy you can taste the seasoning. I'm liking this more and more. With the mayo and the bread and all, it kind of knocks the seasoning down a little bit, but you can still feel the tickle in your throat. This is pretty darn good. I initially thought it would be way too overpowering, and it is strong, don't get me wrong, but it's a really good flavor. If you like the aromatic seasoning taste of crab boil, this is for you. That's some good fried fish sandwich. So till the next video, get out there and go fishing.